Good morning, Lego fans. It's Bricks on a Budget coming to you with another video. I got another haul from Republic Bricks. So, um, that being said, I got these two the other day. Technically, this was my second order, but it was the first one I got. So, I finally got my, my, my bigger order in here. So, um, let's get right into it. Let's get the big stuff out of the way first. The heck? Hold on a sec. This was free for because I the amount of stuff I ordered. There we go. These little arms on here. This is knockoff or fake Lego. There we go. Actually, that doesn't look too bad for being a fake Lego. But yeah, I got this uh, job of the this uh, knockoff job of the hut uh, for free. I can't remember how much I had to order, but you know, it's free, so it's whatever. I was gonna do an order anyhow. And I got something else that's also knockoff Lego, which I really don't care about because I already have an actual one of these anyhow give me a sec all these on here ah shoot jeez oh. And that's a knockoff General Grievous. Again, I didn't order either of those. They were freebies. I guess he gives out fake Lego stuff for freebies sometimes. It did say in the description of the freebies that it was fake, to be fair. So, but now, let's get into the good stuff here. I'm gonna say, I know I got more than that. There we go. All right, so I got Sace 10 here. I got, and these are all custom printed on actual Lego. At least they're supposed to be. We're going to check that here in a minute. And it really freaked me out because when my first order, like the arms and hands came separate, I did not like that. It maybe think they were fake Lego, but I did check. These are the first two I got. I did check them both. They are actual Lego, so. Um, Count Dooku. In the world. Ew. What's up with the cape? Really? Um, a 501st, specially printed. I think it's either one out of 100 or one out of 150 um, Anakin Skywalkers. 501st, specially printed Anakin Skywalker. Um, because I'm doing a lot of Bible first, obviously for obvious reasons. Um, this is, damn it! Hold on. <clears throat> shock. Shock. Shock key. I've been wanting a shock tee for a while, but she's pretty pricey on the aftermarket. For the old ones. And the one I was looking at, like, she's got the uh, Clone Wars or the cartoony, like, face, and it look, just looks disturbing. This one's got a pretty nice face. And that snap. Woo. She's got some pretty nice printing here on the body. And I can tell. The head's very nice, just one sided. But it looks pretty nice. Is this, is this a printed Ahsoka head? 
No, no, it's not. I could tell by the shaping and the how thick the tendrils are compared to the Ahsoka one. So I don't think this is an Ahsoka one. A um, little bit of wear on the tips. I don't like that. That looks like crap. See that, guys? Like, really? Oh, well. But the rest of it does look very solid, very nice. Let me take her, her uh, headpiece off for a minute. See if I can't get this. I mean, look at that print. That is gorgeous. Very nice. Ooh, they got a hood printed on the back. Cool. Leg, back leg, and um, also to note, I didn't notice this the other the other day until I was watching somebody else's uh, haul video. But uh, Republic Bricks prints his logo inside that hole in the back of the leg. Actually, he has two different logos. He's got the snapping fingers one, and then he's got the little crown there. So that's how you can tell it's a Republic Brick printed uh, minifigure. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, she is pretty freaking gorgeous. I'm very happy with her. Um, so I finally have a shock T. Super happy with that. Um, I also was supposed to get a hard case, and and that's uh, one of the clones. His name, his his designate, his his name, I guess, is hard case. Um, he looked really cool, and then he was only sixteen bucks. And I was like, yeah, why not, right? So about a week or so in, when right before I made the call to see about where my orders were, because they were they the label was made. Look at that. Isn't that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, this is Anakin. 501st Anakin. 360 degree print. He's got the logo right there and there. That is very nice. Printed arms even. Ooh, very nice. I did pay a premium price for this, so it should be a premium figure. I do not like the cape, though. I don't know why they printed that on the back of the cape. But yeah, so it the the label was printed, but it wasn't it didn't move like at all. It didn't update. It was just set it just kept saying that it was let the label was created. And so I'm like, well So after it was sitting there for over a week where it just said label created on both my orders I uh, messaged him, and he, you know, to be fair, he answered the same day, like, which I did not expect, you know, because I hear a lot of people, I mean, look, look at that. I hear a lot of people complain, but he answered me right away. He says, oh, they're both, uh, He's like, yeah, they're both uh, shipped, shipped out or whatever. I'm like, okay. So I waited. It was another day or two. They they both did update. So I think what he did is he uh, probably shipped them out once I messaged him, more than likely. But you know, they did update short, like a day or so afterwards. They might have been. I mean, to be fair, he gets a lot of orders in. I imagine, and. Uh, like, if you flood, like, a small uh, postal service, sometimes it takes them a while to get that sorted and, uh, you know, for them to get that updated. So, you know, I give him a little bit of a pass. He did answer right away. And, you know, so I don't like that cape. Like, why would that even be printed on the back of Anakin's cape? Like, just some narcissist stuff right there <laughs> whether you're the chosen one or not i mean come on uh, it's just funny so yeah i'm gonna be swapping out his cape for sure i don't i don't know i just don't care for that oh and then i didn't yeah if you didn't see my other videos these are the first two i got from my first order this is my technically my second order but it's the first order i placed oh but but yeah back to the hard case thing so I get this email and it said, uh, 
my hard case had been had been uh, refunded. So I got this. I got so I got the money back for hard case, but no reason to why that I wasn't getting hard case. So I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Maybe he, maybe he ran out or something. You know. And uh, what is this? Oops. Okay, this is going to be Sace 10. And so I was like, you know, it is what it is. You know, it happens. But then I went back on his website, and the one that, and there's two different hard cases. There's a 2020 version that has uh, better printing. But uh, I bought the $16, the, the older version that has, you know, the less printing. I figured, you know, $16, yeah, you know, whatever. Um, wouldn't be bad, and uh, yeah, it was still on. It was still on his website, like you could order it. So I'm like, what's that about? It's like either a fix your website or b, you know, what gives, guy? You know, just out of curiosity, you know, I wanted to message him and ask him what the deal was, you know, but um, I don't. These, you know, and that's another that's another complaint I got is look how crumpled up this cape is. It just, you know, you should have put all your capes on a piece of like little cardboard when you ship it. And he shipped all this stuff in like a bubble mailer and some baggies, like a big bag and a bunch of little bags. And uh, yeah, it just it is what it is. So that's also a minus when you're ordering from him. Know that your stuff's not going to be, it's packed decent, but not well. You know what I mean? So um, other guys like Clone Army Customs, like I did a big order and I got it in a little box. Brick Tactical, I do a, you know, I usually do at least a $50 order or better. Anytime I get stuff from him, he sends it in a box. You know, and a lot of times, uh, brick tactical stuff will actually come in protective, um, little, like these eggshell things. So that's also very nice. Yeah, so there he is, Sace 10. Very happy to have him. Come on, focus. There we go. Really good print. No print on the sides. A little bit of print on the back of the legs and the back. Still has the logos in there. He did come with a cape. I'm not a fan of these this fabric. I don't know if this is fat. It feels like construction paper, truth be told. Here, hold on. Let me you guys hear that? That's what it sounds like when you when you rub your fingers on it. So, not a fan of the capes. So, I will probably do an order and replace all these capes at some point. So, again, this cape is all scrunched up. So, those are my three Jedi I ordered. Get that in the frame so you guys can see it. So, pretty cool. And I got one. Oh, yeah, really? So, I ordered Count Dooku, because I did not have a Count Dooku currently. So, um, let's see if I can get him out of here. Decent print. That's pretty much how his body looked in Episode 2, I want to say. even has a little bit of arm printing, so that's kind of interesting. I don't think he needs all that extra printing on his arms and stuff, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, he's got printing on the side of his legs, too. Ooh! Fancy Comp Dooku. Yeah. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> his head kind of looks like Sean Connery. Oh, uh, Sean Connery was the freaking 
goat. Well, not the goat, but I mean, he was definitely up there as far as an actor goes. Awesome, awesome actor. But Sean Connery could have had that part. I think it would have been better. Not that I have a problem with uh, um, the guy that played him or uh, the guy that, or the fact that he ended up getting the part for Saruman. I mean, he was epic in uh, Lord of the Rings. Boop. There we go. Count Dooku, everybody. Woohoo! Um, so, yeah, I finally got a Count Dooku. Really nice face, really nice print all the way down. He got his boots printed and everything. Got the back end printed really nice. Got the logo in the back of the legs there. Little Timmy snapping his fingers. Um, very nice. Very, very nice. So that is my second order there, minus that one hard case. And I wanted hard case. The only reason why I even ordered hard case, it wasn't even because I wanted necessarily wanted hard case, but since I got a 501st army started, I wanted to order another 501st character. And because I'm I'm going to do a video where I compare these clones, Clone Army Custom clones, Brick Tactical clones. I'm not sure if I did any other ones. No, I don't think. I think that's it. But I was going to do a comparison between the three different clones and basically compare, like, the cloth. Um, I'm also going to, um, in the cloth category, I'm also going to, going to compare Cape Cantina's to uh, the other other people's uh, different cloths and stuff. Um, I got a Brick Tactical order coming in, so I won't be doing that until after I get my Brick Tactical order in. Um, it's going to be Star Wars related. And uh, so that's going to be a fun one, too. Uh, I, got some, I got some goodness for Count Dooku coming, so I'm not even mad that he didn't come up with a lightsaber. I'm going to have to find a red blade, but uh, I have a custom Count Dooku molded created blade by brick tactical coming it's got the curve and everything it's freaking gorgeous it's going to be a lot of fun and then i got other stuff other weapons and i got a mini figure coming so be on the lookout for that that should be here hopefully by next week at the latest i'm hoping by saturday but i'll have to wait and see so um um but yeah i will do an unboxing of my brick tactical order and show off the stuff so it's Star Wars slash Clone Wars uh, related. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And um, like I said, after that, I'm going to be doing co comparisons of the different cloths, the cloth aspect. So between the capes and the shoulder pauldrons and the waistcoats or commas, um, I'm going to do a comparison for each of the different companies' cloths, each of the different companies' weapons, if they have any or make any themselves i will also be doing a comparisons of the printing and the clones for each of the different companies i will also do a comparisons of the shipping shipping time packaging um the whole freaking shebang so that way you guys out there if you have an order from these companies um you can get an idea of my experience and this is only going to be other than brick tactical is you know because i just ordered from them twice now to be fair and i just ordered from um cape cantina once and i just ordered from um, clone army customs so far once so this is going to be my impressions on them so far um, i'm going to be doing another order through these guys um Republic Bricks at some point, because I'm kind of curious. I want to do a uh, blind, like one of those blind boxes. Um, just, you know, I'm going to look into one that I'm not going to be upset if I get the smallest or crappiest thing on the list. You know what I mean? Um, so, like, if I could find one of the boxes that has, like, a, uh, you know, like a small fighter or something on it, you know, uh, I'm not going to be too upset if that's what I end up getting, you know, uh, because, you know, you, when you go into those boxes, you've got to understand that 
chances are it's like playing the lottery. Chances are you're going to get the like if you only put five dollars on it, you're not going to get anything super great. Um, if you put thirty dollars into something, look at the smallest, cheapest thing on that list. And then, of course, consider, you know, what doesn't sell. Chances are it's going to be shadow. Chances are that's going to be the item you're going to get. And it's going to be in the shadow colors, probably. More than likely. Because that's, that seems like the norm. Um, so um, I, I have expectations going in on realizing I'm probably going to get the crappiest, smallest thing when I do my order. So when I do get one, I'm going to get one that, you know, if it's the smallest, most crappiest thing on the list... It's going to be something that I can still find some sort of enjoyment out, out of. You know what I mean? So um, keep that in mind if you ever do those. Um, also, you know, if you go on their website and they got free stuff, you know, remember it's free. So if you get something like this, <laughs> which I was a little upset about, I'll admit. But, you know, I put a helmet on him. Now he's just a, a reg. Um, you know, and so it's fine. You know, I made my piece with it. It was free. I can't really be too mad. The guy's got to make money, and I understand that. Um, I got it for free. It's actual Lego, whatever. Um, these, I leave a bad taste in my mouth because they're knockoff Lego, but they were free. I can't be mad. I already got a Lego Count Dooku, so he can fly a kite. Um, I will be definitely keeping... Uh, this guy right here, though, because I do not have a Lego Jabba. I can't really afford to buy a Lego Jabba, so um, he looks all right, actually, you know, considering he's a knockoff, so not bad. Um, I, I still think, you know, the packaging can be better. I think the cape should be put on a little piece of cardboard like uh, Clone Army Customs does so they don't get all messed up in transit, um, especially if you're just shipping them in a bubble mailer, you know. Um, so, Tim, if you're watching this, you know, uh, you know, just a little constructive cr criticism, you know, from from me. Um, you know, there's a few tweaks that you could do to, to make it make it a little bit better. Um, but overall, you know, I really I really um, my biggest complaint is the tips of shock tea are a little worn. Um, you know, for for, you know, what what I paid for her that. That, that, that kind of sucks. But, you know, the rest of her looks top-notch as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm not really too upset about that. Um, Anakin is freaking amazing looking. Um, size 10 is very cool. And Count Dooku, I, I'm just so, so glad to get a, a Count Dooku finally. So, that's awesome too. So, um, wrapping up, you know, these were all bought on purpose. The only one I'm really kind of a little miffed about is, you know, the tips of her. Um, and then, of course, you know, the fact that I did not get a uh, hard case, but I did get this blind, this blind pack right here. So I got a clone compared to the other clones for the other companies. So, all right, I better leave it here. I've been rambling on too much. And so um, let me know what you think of this Republic Bricks. Uh, order here with these four guys and the even the freebies you know if you want to comment about that too you know uh, they were free so you know what I mean um, I I'm just so so thrilled finally got a, a, a decent Anakin that doesn't have the stupid uh, headpiece on his face uh, so thrilled to get him too so but yeah uh, look on that look for that uh, that, that next upcoming order from uh, Brick Tactical. Um, it's going to be really good. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. It's going to definitely spice up my uh, my clone era uh, minifigures for sure. So that being said, um, cat, I'll catch you in the next video. And this is Bricks on a Budget. Telling you, please like, please subscribe. And please hit that bell for future notifications. Because I still got more videos on the way. And uh, this is Bricks on a Bunch of Town, y'all. Get built. Thanks, guys. Bye.